I have a two-part question for you. A two-part? Two-part. Well, let me answer the first part first. Or okay. do you want me to answer the first part second or the second part first? Let's go with the first part first. First part first. Answer it. Or ask it. Do you like red blends? Wine, specifically. Uh, usually. How do you feel about bourbon? That's the second question. I feel very uh, warm and tingly. And How about the bourbon? <laughs> uh, I also feel warm and tingly. About okay. Bourbon. Yes. It uh, has a soft, has a good big spot in my heart. What if I was able That's to probably marry my those two things together? As to say, I now pronounce you partners. Bourbon and red blend. Well, then there is a world of possibilities, and most of them uh, should be good things. Let's hope that they are, Let's hope that they are good. We are trying something very unique, very new to us, and uh, different for this Give It a Shot. I'm Andrew. And I'm Keith. And we are about beverages.com. And the beverage that we are about today is the Cooper and Thief uh, red red wine blend, uh, which is aged in is it it's it's actually bourbon barrels. It's right? specifically bourbon barrels. Bourbon three barrels. months. Okay. All right. I almost did this for some reason. Three months. Three. <laughs> three. Three. One, okay. Two, yeah. One, two, one, two. <laughs> yeah. Three months aged in bourbon barrels. Okay. And uh, it is a blend. Do you know some of the varietals that are actually in the red blend? Because I did not get to look at that. Well, thanks to their website, I actually know all of these and the exact right. proportions. Oh. Hopefully, this adds up to a hundred. <laughs> You'll have to let us know. <laughs> I'm not going to do the math. Thirty-eight <laughs> uh, percent Merlot. Okay. Thirty-seven percent Syrah. Okay. Eleven percent Zinfandel. Seven percent Petite Syrah. Okay. Four percent Cab Sauvignon, and three percent other red blenders. One hundred and two. Perfect. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Perfect. We always want our wine to give 102%. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Have you had the 103% wines? Ooh. They're over the moon delicious. Oh, They're man. insane. They're absolutely <laughs> crazy. 102 should be pretty good, though. Should yeah, be. it should. It be. should be up there. Yeah. Uh, I had seen this, uh, actually, as I was looking for things uh, around the holidays. So even this is about a month ago that I bought this. Maybe even more than a month ago I bought this. Uh, I was looking around, had, had seen this actually in like kind of a, a package of like this and some glass, you know, some kind of, you know, holiday gift package. I was like, well, that kind of looks neat. I don't really need the other stuff. Do they, oh, could they have it by itself? So I went and looked and this bottle uh, is around 30 bucks. We sell it at Trader Joe's for a little less than that. But Okay. okay. So yeah. uh, thankfully, when I was at uh, Cost Plus World Market where I bought this, it wound up being uh, 40% off. Ooh, that's big. because it was twenty percent off because they had a sale on anything that was a red. Okay, and then another twenty percent off if you were just you know on their email list on their thing. Oh yeah, for those good. blends. So cool. it's forty. So I got this for nineteen dollars. That's awesome. Something like eight, that's yeah, great, eighteen, yeah. eighteen something, whatever with okay. tax, nineteen bucks. That's great. So deal. yeah, so that was what enticed me to try. I'm like, oh, I'll try this. I wound up. I hope it's good. I got two. <laughs> <laughs> I initially thought I was going to bring this over for one of the holiday get-togethers, and then right. I didn't because we did other things. And I was like, well, I'll just keep them. I know we'll podcast right. on one. Hopefully, it's good. They have another one as well, which I also bought. <laughs> oh, yeah. That one I only got 20% off of, but it was it's the white. And I think that's a Sauvignon Blanc. Do you carry the white at Trader Joe's? We don't. We only carry this okay, one. I can't remember what that one, if that was just a white blend or if it was specifically a Sauvignon Blanc or whatever, um, but that one is aged in tequila barrels. So okay. I thought that sounded kind of cool. That's so anyway, cool. we may get to that one at a later date, depending on how this one goes. Uh, but that has interested me. Their website, pretty nice. Here's my nitpick. Nitpick. No Twitter. Oh, okay. And then I was like, oh, well, they have an Instagram. Maybe I'll like try and you know reach out on Instagram. You know, like I like to do that with the people we're going to talk about. Either you know let them know we're going to be talking about them. You know, and we don't hold back. Like I said, you know, if we don't like something, we're still going to say we don't like it, right. even if they reach out to us. Anyway, uh, their Instagram, I go to it. It's there, but they have literally never put up a picture. So they like oh, have wow. the Instagram page. And then I went to Facebook and I God, I can't remember what they had. I don't even know what much they had on Facebook. So very little social media presence, but their website, pretty decent. So anyway, that was my uh, small nitpick. But yeah, it looks like they do a couple other things as well. Uh, yeah, can you it? see the uh, white by any chance wine. while you're looking for that? Uh, uh, Sau Sauvignon, Sauvignon, Blanc Sauvignon Blanc and a cab. Okay, all right. So the Sauvignon so. Blanc is the one that is aged in tequila barrels. I think that one is also probably around the three or four month thing as well. But anyway, That's thought intriguing. that seemed neat. Yeah. I had had uh, earlier this year. I bought the uh, is the Apothic. Uh, Inferno, and I think. Inferno, which yeah. is another one that's aged in bourbon barrels. Right. Uh, or whiskey. And that one might just say whiskey barrels. I think it is whiskey. Um, so anyway, and that one was always good. Very jammy, very heavy, very dense. Uh, this one's high in alcohol too, correct? 
Seventeen percent. Yeah. So yes. that's that's definitely up there for a wine. I mean, yeah. you should, I mean, sometimes you're usually thirteen to 15. yeah. Usually in the uh, usually if you say something is fifteen plus, it's yeah, it's hot. But yeah, seventeen. Yeah. So we're talking hot there. Let's. So um, I'm excited to try this one. Apparently, again, as always, we forgot to bring it to the table. We don't have it here, but faithfully, he's forever ours. Our Phil, forever oh. ours. Oh, he's got some of it. It's a big. It's a weirdly <clears throat> wide bottle. It is. Yeah. Um, yeah. it's like I said, it's not a tall, like you'll see it when we bring it up here in a minute, but yeah, like I said, that's why Phil couldn't quite get it all within his gaze. Right. Um, he didn't want it resting quite up against his nose. So <laughs> yeah, he had he it separate a little bit. He did. Well, that's like that. We were pouring it today at work to the, the Susum and yellow, you know, that we've tried. Oh yeah. That wider bottle. This isn't quite as wide, but, uh, it definitely has a, a, a different sort of almost like a, yeah, hybrid, like a, okay. almost like a bourbon bottle wine, almost like a hybrid between the two Yeah, sort of look to it. So. Well, let's not we'll just talk it. about it. Let's grab that. Let's get it. And uh, let's get to opening this one up because I'm pretty sure this is, yeah, this is full cork and paper and like everything else. Oh, they kind of have a little tape. Oh, this, okay, now this bottle specifically says 16%. Oh, okay. But on I had the, read 17 online. Yeah, on like the, you said, on the no, website. I, I thought you were correct. Okay. Well, I've, I've got to do the full. Well, so the then we don't know. Possibly this doesn't uh, actually have the, uh, the exact blend then. It could be a different uh, blend. Our blend is quietly rested in bourbon barrels. Cellar master. Uh, quietly rested. Wow. It's good to this quietly one. rest. Quietly rested. This resting. says smoky aged bourbon casks on here. Okay. So we quietly see. rested. I think that means maybe there's not a, like they don't do the rotation. Right. That could, that's I'm probably guessing, what that means. But that's a complete guess. I would like to get a quiet rest in a bourbon barrel. <laughs> oh my God. That sounds amazing. <laughs> Actually, that'd be a great T-shirt. Quietly rested in bourbon barrel. What are you doing? I'm quietly resting. Quietly resting in a bourbon barrel. That is dark. Giving that some good aeration. It's trying to. <laughs> like Adam used to say, put a little money on it. Put a little money on it. I still think of that when I pour my coffee. I do too. It's good though. You got to aerate the beverage. Can I set that there? I think I can set that there. Yeah, I'm all right with that. <laughs> I was just seeing how it was with the camera. The, the, I do have to be careful with that, though. I will do that. Uh, we did lose sure. a couple of glasses over the holidays. It shows. Yeah. Oh wow, yeah, we did. I mine and both of them were not great fashion. Mine was just like I was like turning around because I was like trying to point at a cookie right. or something, and I elbowed mom's wine glass. Up. That was the most shattering glass ever. Like oh, literally, yeah. It, went, yeah, it was like we a, had a team of four of us working on cleaning that, and yeah, yeah we did go everywhere. Very dark. Very, like I said, very. I mean, I, see, I well, if I look down through it, like I said, a little bit, a little bit red, kind of toward the outside, but that's pretty dark. Yeah, very, very purple. Very purple. It's purple. Very, the little, little reddish hue on the outside. That's a pretty purple wine. It's very purpley. <laughs> it's very purpley. I know. It's, uh, it's this Prince's season. favorite wine. It's. Uh, oh, I was going with Elf, but I know we're past the Elf season. So. Oh yeah. No season. It's Elf season. <gasps> oh, oh, I was fighting. Words. I'm just kidding. I like that movie. I just don't love it as much as everyone else does. It smells like wine. <laughs> um, wow <laughs> this is the kind of thing people look for yeah. in our podcast it's red so what's that red blend smelling it smells like wine it smells like red grapes <laughs> um i get butterscotch and vanilla uh from the oak uh from from the and and, and obviously some fruit i get jammy fruit first i agree with the vanilla and then i get hot uh, there's definitely like it's almost like i can feel the alcohol hitting my nose like there's some like just natural like heat like oh, maybe that's clearing me up a little bit more <laughs> no, I do. I def, but I get a. Do you don't get the butterscotch? Uh, not not that I can detect. I get a little woody. The vanilla is definitely there, and like I said, the jammy fruit hits me first. And then, but then it does go very nice. It's not. It's nice. It's not like these things are segmented. They're they're blended. They're, yeah, they're, they're very nice. Yeah, they're in harmony. Yeah, because at first when I hadn't done much of a swirl, I got more of the uh, uh, of the bourbon and and that kind of thing going on. And then when I did the swirl, then the kind of the fruit really kind of came up and it try with mixed the clockwise well. swirl. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh. And splash everywhere. <laughs> little Seinfeld reference. Is there a knuckle involved? Yeah. <laughs> God, I hope not. All right. Well, I'm pretty. I, this is yeah. definitely made me pretty excited. Not speaking directly to flavor, but just my overall thought that popped in my head. This is very good. I don't know if it's thirty dollars good, but this is very good. Yeah. I, I, I like this. This is very interesting. It's he a lot heavier flavors. It's kind of one of those things where it's it starts to bleed into. Is this really like a wine anymore? Is it not? You know, like I said, because the flavors are to me so dense 
and heavy because they've been concentrated in the barrel. You have all these other things going on. So it's this new complexity, which I think is really good. Everything you talked about in the aroma, and now I actually get a little bit of that butterscotch yeah. in the taste, which I, I like, you know, I, I get that now in the flavor. I love it. And I'm surprised it's not really drying me out either. I thought it would. It's, it's, been it's like i said it's pretty smooth to me like i said but great flavors i definitely get the alcohol the alcohol is you know i yeah. feel the heat the heat's uh, but i like it the heat and, is on <laughs> it's on the street but but yeah i don't know like for what i actually paid for this i love it like i would pay 18 dollars for that like i would get this as a special thing for that price at like i don't know it was like 28 to 30 like whatever it was I think Trader Joe's sells it for twenty seven. Okay, and, yeah. that's, that's getting a little. I don't know. Yeah, that's getting a little pricey. Yeah, just. I mean, well, well but and, you know, obviously, just because there's. I think. The I think because it's so heavy. I think if it had a. I think if it was a little lighter and had even a little bit more complexity, that's at least what I think I'm looking for. When, when we, and we we've been talking about at some point in the future we will be doing some maybe slightly more expensive wine podcasts with. Uh, uh, thank, thankfully to all of our supporters from About Beverages. That's so right. we'll be trying something like that. And that's in my head what I think I should be getting. More complexity. And then that usually comes with like things aren't going to be like this is like everything is dense. Okay. So, okay. Heavy and dense. What do you mean by heavy and dense? What uh, it's just like the, the fl- like that jamminess is just like it almost feels like uh, even though there's a lot of good flavor and, and they're blended well, it just feels like it's really hanging down on my tongue. Like I'm not getting like, oh, I'm getting this wonderful floral bouquet and I'm not like that's the stuff I feel I'm missing. Do you okay to me? Like I said, that's what I feel I'm missing in this. Like I'm getting all these really great low palate flavors, but I'm not getting the like, oh, and there's a little pepper and there's a little pinch of this and there's a little like this is just very like I'm gonna give you this really good. Like I don't want people to think I, I don't like this, but like I said, this really good steamroll of these heavier flavors across my tongue, and then like I said, I'm not like I said, I'm not really get, other than like the alcohol that kind of went up. Like I'm not yeah. getting much else. But are you getting? Other thing, like I've, I've yeah, been, I I've been dominating the conversation. To Tell me, me I don't, I don't think it's heavy and dense. I get wow, really. Um, and I well, but I, I and I guess if I'm thinking a red blend and then reading what's in it, and then thinking that it's spent three months in a bourbon barrel, I'm thinking it probably is going to have. I guess I, I. I'm not saying that this doesn't match everything that you read. You were talking though about like lighter and floor, and I, I I wouldn't expect. I'm that. not expecting that. Oh, I'm saying if I'm going to pay that much then money, you want that. I want something different okay. that has all those things. Oh, okay. I don't want to pay okay. that much okay. and just get like sixty percent. This is a really good sixty percent of these low flavors, but when I'm starting to enter that echelon of dollars, I would go somewhere else so that I get a little bit of every of the full bouquet of the full cornucopia. As opposed to like I'm getting this section of it. Do you know? Okay. Does that make more sense? No, no I, I hear what you're saying. Yeah, no, it still I, seems I, like every you're... it's lightened up a little bit, but like I said, but yeah, every every sip is uh, to me. It's like as soon as it's starting to hit my tongue, it's syrupy. Like it's jammy and syrupy, and like it's. Yeah, I think that's good. I like that. Again, I didn't say it with, like, but that to me, it's like it's, you know, <clears throat> it's almost turning into like a cordial or like a port. Not quite that heavy, but that's like well, starting ports to do get that starts you know, to be where it's port, going. Ports are eighteen to twenty percent, so that's or you know uh, roughly. So that could be that, but then ports are fortified with another spirit. So, right. um, and which I mean, I guess this it, it spent time in a bourbon barrel, so you could l- listen. It wasn't yeah, really fortified, this, but yeah, there's I like love a, that finishing note of the butterscotchy vanilla. It's I think very that's, good. I think that's great. Um, it is dry. It it does. It hits me uh, dry uh, does it in dry the front it? of my okay. tongue. It doesn't um, to me that much. Like I said, for some reason, I not, thought it would, but, it's but not it doesn't. Pleasant. No, um, I thought it would, but it's it's not drying me out really too much. Maybe a little bit, but that actually might still be from the thing we had earlier on the tip of my tongue. As I let that, just as I hold that in my mouth, to me, there's some really nice high notes that are going up, mm. and then it finishes with that fruit, accented by the butterscotch and the vanilla. That being said, I no, I'm probably not even at when I get where I get ten percent off of twenty seven dollars. I'm probably not buying this for twenty five dollars. I like it a lot. I'm, I mean, if you yeah. I come over someday and you're like, hey, I've got that. I'm, I'm, okay, sounds good. <laughs> okay, uh, on your dollar. No, of I'm gonna, I'm going to be happy to have that. <laughs> right, but I, but that's also my you know my quest is to to follow that star no matter how hopeless, no matter how far. No, my quest wow. is to. You know, always to find that that sweet spot of something that I just love at the at the at, a, at the lowest price possible, um, 
And and so I'd be so. How does this compare to? Because you like that Inferno. How does this compare to that? I, I like mean, this better than the Inferno. The Inferno though is only twelve bucks. Right. As I was gonna say, yeah, we charge like eleven for that versus. So, yeah. I mean, the yeah. the this has way more complexity than that. Okay. Similar heavy low jammy note. Right. So I was. That's why I said I was prepared okay. for that. I just thought when this was thirty, I thought there might be a little bit more something. Okay. And and there is, but it's still just all for me, mostly lower palate. Yeah, I'm not get like I said. I think you're you're picking up on a little more than I am in the bouquet, um, as it were. But no, this is a lot better than that. Again, yeah, I like it. At, at the price that I paid for it, this compared to the Inferno, I would buy this. I would spend eighteen on. I would spend the extra six and get this. Yeah, like okay. said, double the you know over double the price. Mm. that starts to be a little bit tough. And again, I got it at cost plus. Like I said, you guys are a little bit cheaper than that. Right. Ma- ma- like, like I said, I don't know if total your, wine or some yeah. other big box retailers, maybe they have it. Like to me, this is, this is a excellent $20 special thing. I know that sounds weird to all of a sudden just put it like we normally don't put, but like, that's what I, that's what's in my head. That's right what now. If that's I saw this walked in a store, I didn't have any. And I saw one of these for 20. I'd be like, Oh, I'm gonna grab a bottle. Ooh, that. That's a good deal. Yeah. I, get that. I definitely think this is worthy if people are in, you know, like I said, are interested in something like this. I, I think the flavor profile is really good, especially if you can find it on sale like that. I think it's it's awesome. Or if you know money is no object, then you should just try it then. Because <laughs> it's it's like I said, I think it is I think it is pretty good. And this might open, we just opened this too. We did. So yeah. this might as it sits uh, in the glass or as the bottle opens up. Uh, so what did we say was in there? Uh, low Syrah, Zin. Yeah. Yeah, those things might need to open. I think up a it's probably bit. the Merlot yeah. part that I don't like. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not having any Merlot. All right, Miles. <laughs> uh, too funny. But that is actually the benefit. Uh, if you are watching us live on twitch.tv slash about beverages, if you're watching us live there on most Thursdays, you can hang out with us and we can uh wait to see how this opens up maybe we'll get sure. some other things that's kind of what we do what we, we do. record these podcasts and then afterwards we keep hanging out with all of you we have chat going we talk with you that is where we would love for you to show up and hang out with us like i said most thursdays around 5 30 pacific is kind of when we uh, when we start we do a couple podcasts every week and uh try and find out what you guys are having what everyone else is having that's that's kind of the idea because right now you might be watching this podcast thinking damn it they're wrapping this up and i want more of those guys that's right. These guys, you know, they, they, you know what? They're fun. They know what they're talking about. And, you know, they're, they're open to suggestions. Man, I, I wish there was a place where I could hang out with them just a little bit longer or a lot longer. Yeah. And you know what? There is. There's a place where you can do that. Yeah. Or if you just want to watch small snippets of lots of other different things. Yes. YouTube, We've obviously, done that if too. you found us there. <laughs> Snippets of Americana. Snippets. Uh, YouTube is a great place to uh, find us there. And uh, like I said, obviously the website, aboutbeverages.com is the other Correct. thing and stuff. Correct. 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 Uh, that is the other good place. And Twitter. We would appreciate it if you would follow us on Twitter because that is where we will tweet about all the different things we're having throughout the week, <laughs> different observations, or, you know, Throw a tweet our way and let us know what you guys are having. Things we should try, we shouldn't miss out on, especially seasonal things. We always want to make sure we get to get on top of all that stuff. So, But as we always say, whether we like it or not, you should give it a shot. <laughs>